In this video, I'm going for the Red Dead 1 and 2 Platinum, totaling just over 100 trophies, but the number doesn't matter. It's how long it takes to get them. Oh man, and it takes a while. To clear up any confusion, I am playing the PS3 version of Red Dead Redemption 1. I just couldn't pass up this multiplayer grind. This is like the worst map ever. Okay, so I have a thought in my brain. Instead of cum, oh boy. You ejaculate ice cream. So starting out in Red Dead Redemption 1, we get all the story trophies out of the way, earning us a total of 10 trophies right now. While I was playing through the story, I got a few killing trophies as well, like 250 headshots and kill 500 enemies with any rifle. So after beating the story, we actually have to do a stranger mission that wraps everything up. If you don't know what a stranger mission is, there are a bunch of side quests located around the map, and we need to complete all of them for another trophy, but we'll worry about that later. But right now, we're going to finish up the final story trophy we need. Oh shit, are we, we're about to duel? I've only dueled like two times this whole game. Motherfucker, I don't need a tutorial. I got this. That was really early. Oh shit. Well, maybe I needed that tutorial. Am I all the way back in Blackwater? No, I'm in Mexico? Bitch! Yeah! Let's go, dude. Fucking mutilated his face. Dude, even he's side-eyeing me. Let's go, man. Fame plus 50. Remember my family completes. Let's fucking go. Nurture or nature? My first gold trophy. We have to replay a combat mission now to get a gold medal for another trophy. And now it's time to start tackling the 100% completion. This is easily one of the longest trophies in this game and is going to require a lot out of us. First up, every location on the map needs to be discovered. Thankfully, most big towns sell you a map of their surrounding area, so you don't really have to discover anything besides like a few. But other than that, we finish that up really quick so we get another trophy. Next up, we have to capture a bounty alive. Bounties randomly appear in like armadillo and black water you just pick them up it tells you the location and you handle business and this trophy calls for you bringing one in alive which you actually get more money for so i do that extremely quickly and get that trophy i also get another quick trophy out of the way for scoring a headshot in the enemy using expert targeting mode it's basically just no aim assist and this next trophy was my first roadblock of many so to get 100 completion you need to have a certain amount of outfits unlocked not all of them and i didn't realize this until way later but a good few and they each have different requirements some are easy some are not but the first one I decided to go for was the Liar's Dice one because it was also tied to a stranger mission I was doing. Basically, the objective of Liar's Dice is to correctly bet on the amount of dice rolled in a certain number or correctly challenge a previous player's bet. Basically, if you have five dice and two of them are ones, you have to guess how many ones on top of yours that other players have. So it's literally just luck. And I was failing a lot. So much so that the game told me to buy this thing called an Elegant Suit to cheat. So I welcomed that with open arms. So I went out to buy the elegant suit and I got a trophy for it. And then luck rolled my way. <gasps> that was $200. Oh my God. <gasps> That's $200. I'm never going to get back. There are three ones. You know what? I'm going to check. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? There's going to be three threes. All right. You are my biggest enemy right now. Dude, he doesn't have a single three in that. God damn it. How? How does he have... How does he not roll one six? There's no way he rolled two twos. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I, I would have the worst luck if he... Oh my god, I thought that was a two. Oh my god. Alright, oh. Alright, we're tied. That's so outlandish. What is this guy? Is he smoking freaking crack please i think i saw four yes let's go let's go let's go damn i got 600 bucks from that continuing to unlock certain outfits i needed next up was the u.s marshal one this has one of the more special requirements needed i have to complete all american hideouts in under 24 in-game hours there's about seven of them and they're really not that long it's actually pretty easy but the game glitched for me and fort mercer's hideout did not pop for me for some reason it just didn't say it was completed so i got the trophy for completing the tumbleweed and azul hideouts in single player and because you can't do hideouts back to back they had to like recharge so i had to wait a certain amount of time before they came back so i decided to do 
a few other things. Stranger missions. I explained them earlier. They're like side quests. Except I swear to God, every single stranger mission was depressing. One guy jumped off a cliff and killed himself. There was a cannibal eating people. I had to go kill this guy because he was robbing from some dead husband. And you can't knock off points for John Marston's incredible humor. No, no, you don't look a day over 30, man. The final one I needed was actually the saddest of them all though. All this guy wanted to do was make it to California to prove everybody else wrong and show that his heritage lives on. And after spending several days in the heat and the desert, he basically went mad. And with no food or water or basically any money, you find him dead on the side of a road with a bunch of vultures eating him. So you go over to loot his body and you find a note and I was just curious enough if you could read it or not. And you absolutely can and it is the saddest thing I've ever, I've ever read. But after that I get a trophy. Now after completing all stranger missions, I have to level up my gunplay. So I purchased my first rare weapon from the gunsmith, and now I continue my hideouts trying to get all of them under 24 hours. Eventually I do unlocking the US Marshal outfit and two trophies with that. Next up we just gotta kill some animals, specifically buffaloes, there's only a finite number of them, le legitimately 20, and they're all kind of grouped up so you just kind of dead eye all of them and kill them, getting manifest destiny. This next one is also extremely easy, you just gotta break certain horses, or like tame them. After getting the last one I need, I get a trophy for that. And the next three trophies I was a little stupid on. I forgot to unpause my recording and I got three of them basically back to back. One was to evade the US Marshals while riding the Hungarian half-bred horse. Basically just get a high enough bounty to where the US Marshals come after you then escape them. The next one was to obtain the highest fame rank and either the highest honor rank or the lowest one and use a pardon letter with more than a $5,000 bounty. After all that's done, now we go back to the Liar's Dice. I have to complete a game of Liar's Dice without losing a single die and I actually got it extremely quick five fives you're fucking crazy there's no possible way that there's five fives what is this guy smoking oh i don't know if i believe that that that's a that's a bluff right there buddy unless he has three sixes on him but there's no way that dude does yep why would you even say that nobody has a six you idiot oh i guess besides him but no there's no way he would have a six because he only has one die and he guessed three which means he definitely has a three. I'm gonna... Oh, dude, I don't know. I don't know. Considering I don't have a... Th I do have a three. I'm gonna declare it sp spot on. I'm gonna declare it spot on. I think he has one three and I have one three. Yes, let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh my God. I'm so good. I'm in this man's head. Oh, damn. I got both of them out. There's no way, right? There's no way he's holding two ones. I don't believe it. I don't have a single one, so there's no way. If he's holding two ones, I will cut my dick off. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I'm him! He has one die, so I guess I'm going to declare his bid spot on. Unless he has something I have. But there's one four? Shit, man. Yeah, I don't have a four, so I, I think I'm going to declare it spot on. Yes, let's go! I didn't lose a single dice! First freaking try. I'm cashing out, dude. What are you talking about? No dice! Let's go. The perfect game right there. I predicted everything. Then I get a ringer in a game of horseshoes. Then I casually just kidnap a woman and place her on train tracks and kill her. Damn, dude! She splattered into a million pieces. Yeah! <laughs> Dastardly, there it is. And then we get to my second roadblock fucking poker now i've played poker before i know how to play poker i just suck at it because guess what there's luck involved every time i hear the word gambling and luck i just want to puke but of course i gotta go through with it so what i need to do is win over 2,000 chips in a hand of poker just kidding that was actually extremely easy all you have to do is replay a certain mission where it's teaching you how to play poker and you just bet all of your chips and you'll win no matter what so you'll make an easy 2,000 chips profit but don't worry i still have to do more poker for one of the outfit requirements you have to beat a certain table and Blackwater and I spent so long playing these guys. So in gambling terms, everybody, I have jack shit. Alright, we're getting a little crazy, huh? I'll keep going. Nope, I got a straight flush, baby. Yeah! Suck it! Suck it! Suck it! I dude, I have to bank on this freaking card. This, this, this next card being amazing. Please be a spade. Please be a spade. Please. Oh, oh no, this is not good. This ain't good. 
I think I'm over. I'm killing his ass. It's just me and you, Wong Bing. Me and you. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I think I just won. Oh, my God. I literally just won. Never mind. Oh, wait. No, he won. Oh, my God. Aha. Suck it. I finally win. I finally win. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Finally, it's over. That was two and a half hours of fucking gambling, dude. After finishing up some bounties I needed for 100% completion, I got a trophy for earning a total of $10,000. And then we get to one of the more questionable trophy names. Um, This trophy tells you to skin 18 grizzly bears, which, by the way, was awful. My meat barriers will protect me. But the trophy name is called Barely Legal. I know Rockstar was on some timing with that one. So after getting closer and closer to the never-ending checklist for 100% completion, I make it to the last criteria I need. Ambient Challenges. Now, there are a set of ranks all the way up to 10 that has you doing like some weird shit like killing a grizzly bear with a knife shooting birds on top of a train but after getting our first one to rank 10 i get a trophy for it pause this is future future dylan i'm too lazy to properly fix this so i'm just gonna say it now i paused the recording on accident not getting that trophy or i guess not being able to show you guys that i got the trophy but i did obviously or else we wouldn't fucking be here but this is the last time it happens i swear but you know we gotta get them all to rank 10 anyway so it doesn't really matter next trophy is i need to kill every single unique animal species in the game there's 27 and i was missing like three so i got that really quick and after getting bored of the tedious grind of 100 completion i finally decided to start a multiplayer the first trophy i get is killing a rock star or somebody with the trophy in a public session it's an old ps3 thing called viral trophies basically it spreads like a virus one person kills a rock star employee then that person gets killed and it kind of just spreads from there now it's time for boosting there's two things we need to boost be the top scoring player in any three consecutive free-for-all games in public matches and be on the winning team for the four consecutive victories in any team-based game in public matches. Thankfully, with a boosting partner, it was fairly easy to get into a lobby with nobody. Basically, the boosting partner checks the screen to see if anybody joins. He'll let you know. You kick them real quick because you have majority, and they just sit there while you play the objective and win the game three times and then four times. So we get both of those trophies in about an hour. After getting that, I got off multiplayer for a bit, back into the single-player grind, finally at the end of 100% completion. It's right in this cave. It's right in here. I just go in and turn, and it's on the fucking floor. <laughs> oh, baby! I've been waiting so long to finally get this 100%. Give me the trophy, please. Yes! Redeemed, baby! <laughs> Let's go! The next trophies after that are just multiplayer ones that aren't really special or anything. They weren't difficult. They were just a little time consuming. But then we make it to the big kahuna, the one everybody's been waiting for, the miserable multiplayer grind. There are ways to get around this. If you have the normal edition of the game, not the game of the year one, you can run an unpatched version where you get triple XP, but I don't have that. I just have the game of the year. So I couldn't make the process any faster. So I had to do it the old fashioned way, playing a hideout over and over and over again. The Twin Rocks hideout is pretty much the best one to do. It takes around a minute and a half and I get 700 XP for it. And you need about 330,000 XP to get level 50. So get comfy because we're going to be here for a while. But after 10,000 kills, 500 plus runs in 11 hours, level 50 was in my grasp. What the fuck, man? I, I, oh man, this, this grinding is so goddamn boring. Like, you would think, if you leveled up, you would get more health! Level 45. Holy shit, we're so close. Oh, level 46. <laughs> Four more levels. Level 47. Two more damn levels. Wait, three more. I'm an idiot. Oh, God, wait, I can't do math. All right, level 48. God damn, dude. Yippee, dude. Oh, are you serious? I thought I got it. Are you kidding me? Oh, you son of a bitch. 33 more XP. Fuck. 
Fuck you, man. All right, that's, that's it. I just have to kill these last four guys, and then we're done. That's three of them. That's three of them. Where's the last one at? Where is the last one hiding? Dude, where are you? Oh, there he is. Holy shit, it's finally over. Oh my god, level 50. Let's go. How the West was won. Holy shit. The next trophy I got was to kill 500 enemies with a mounted weapon. It was super easy when you go into Undead Nightmare and just blast on some zombies for a couple minutes. But now we made it to our last trophy we need. I have to whoop ass in every single saloon in the game. And let's just say, man, I went all in. Who wants to meet Knuckle and Sandwich? Dude, holy shit, the whole gang's on me. Hey, cop, you gotta wait, dude. I don't even think you need to do anything. Oh my god, please stop. Oh, I think I knocked one of them out. Okay, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Oh, oh, bitch. Liar. You know what? I'm cool with Liar's Dice. But, but poker, I ain't cool with that. Oh, oh, instantly. Instantly. I'm a god. Saloon Swindler out. Now, now these, now I'm new around these parts. These guys will know about, about the Saloon Swindler. Easy. I'm out. I'm out. I just provide a little fun. Hello, preacher. Goodbye. I knock people out quicker than ever. They turn around and boom. One right hook and they're down. And I'm gone. And just like that, they've been swindled. Get out of the way, bitch. He's low key on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Guys, please. Uh, I said I could take one person when they're not looking. <laughs> please. Goodbye. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I. Def you know what? Uh, that's fine. This dude beat my ass in poker for so long. I'm actually tired of fighting or of, of playing him. Bitch, shut up. I've killed you so many times in a duel because I was caught cheating. Fuck you, man. Fuck all of you. Yes! Fighting around the... Oh, well, that was so quick. I ain't no time. Legend of the West, baby. Let's go. I can stop playing this game, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. Next up is Red Dead Redemption 2, the game that's going to take over 200 hours to platinum. And with a game as big as this, it's typically really hard to figure out a game plan of how you're going to tackle it. But after enough prepping, I figured out the best way that I'm going to be able to handle this. And that's with getting multiplayer out of the way first. I have earned two trophies previously, one for completing the multiplayer intro and completing the first mission in chapter one of the story mode. With that, the first trophy I earned that wasn't dated back two years ago was to form a persistent posse. And the next trophy involved two two people so of course I'd invite teriyaki hero so we just ended up doing a bunch of multiplayer missions together earning us a nice bronze trophy all right oh I got a lasso the outlaw hey boy get him boy I got him oh shit why am I up here oh my god why 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 how do I go into deadeye it won't let me ow fuck oh, oh shit oh no oh oh I'm I hear hissing. Oh shit, here, I'm here. coming! Come here, motherfucker! Oh god! Come here! Oh my god, Get look down, me. boy! <laughs> Bitch! Damn, he's fast! Oh, oh, holy oh, shit! Oh my god! Oh. I got him! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That Partner, is... no! Oh, I ran. Oh. I got a trophy! I did too, strength in numbers. Oh! oh, with at least two members? I didn't know it counted me. Let's fucking go. In comparison to Red Dead 1, the trophies were not a problem at all for multiplayer. Like, I got most of them knocked out in a single night. They just required a little bit of knowledge and grinding, but for the most part, they were fine. But hiding in all of my confidence was doubt, because I saw what one trophy entailed for me. Another level 50 grind. And this one actually took longer, even though less XP is required. So what I did to get XP quickly is use the collector roll. What the collector roll does is every single day, there's different collectibles spread around the map, and using your shovel and some other thing, I forget, metal detector. You can find these things ranging from arrowheads, jewelries, or cigarette cards. And each one you pick up, you get a certain amount of XP. It can be 150, 200, 300, I think 300 is the max. And if you complete a set, you get 1500 XP on top of all of that. And a shitload of money. And since it's a daily refresh, I believe there's only about 250 collectibles max you can get every day. And it took about 7 hours each collectible refresh. So, so yeah, it was miserable. It took so long. Until through through sheer perseverance, I actually got to the final collectible I needed. But this should be it. I just gotta sell my shit to Madame Nazar.
please let please give me 1500 XP. Yes! Fuck yeah! No more no more multiplayer, man. I'm not doing MVP right now. I just don't want to. I've played too much damn multiplayer. I haven't even started the story yet. I'm done, dude. I'm freaking done. Now we make our way into the story, and there is a lot of shit we gotta do before we beat the game. But first and foremost, we get a trophy for beating chapter one. After moving out of the snow, we get to our first camp, and this basically opens up the rest of the map for us to explore. The next trophy we need to get is to recover stash from four homesteads. The reason I'm doing this trophy first is because it's apparently buggy and sometimes doesn't register, and that was the case for me. I robbed six homesteads instead of four, and there's a total of seven. But after the sixth one, the trophy popped for me. The other missable trophy was to donate two hundred and fifty dollars to like the gang donation box. This is missable for story related reasons, as you can't access it once you finish the game. Then I get a trophy for fully upgrading one of my weapons, and then I finish up chapter two. The only trophy I got in chapter three besides completing it was to deliver five camp companion item requests. I'm not gonna lie dude, this was actually pretty difficult, it was all reliant on chance. And it was missable, so I was sitting in camp for like an extremely long amount of time hoping one of them went up to me and asking for something. But thankfully I got it done, giving me the trophy. Aaron boy. After completing chapter 3 and getting the Settling Feuds trophy, we move on to chapter 4 where I start really tackling this 100% completion. But before we do that, I rob a stagecoach with Lenny to complete a trophy for completing a companion activity in each camp. And now it's time for the 100% grind. So I start in the collectible section first. Traveling around the map, getting all the rock carvings I need, getting the trophy to finish one of the collectible strands. And after that, I decide to knock out 10 stranger missions I needed for the Western Stranger trophy and now we get to one of the worst collectibles i had this entire run the exotic portion this collectible is tied to another stranger mission where this guy gives you a laundry list of things you need to get off of animals typically it'll be some type of bird around the blue water marsh area and this fucking dude does not hold back and i thought the grind couldn't get any worse and oh my god i was so wrong but after finishing exotics i do the cigarette card collectibles i thought this was going to be the same as the multiplayer where you had to go around the map looking for these cards at certain places but apparently you can just buy a bunch of premium cigarettes and then discard those and you get a card for it at like the nearest general store but you just have to do that a lot until you get all 144 cards and then you're done with that collectible honestly at this point there is just too much shit to cover so i knock out as much as i possibly can before i can reach the new austin area because there were some collectibles i was going for that i couldn't finish because they were located in like tumbleweed or armadillo but after grinding for a couple days i finally decided it's time to get my last Last multiplayer trophy. Achieve MVP three times in a round with at least four players. So I got Teriyaki Hero and King Juice in a lobby with me and we played the best damn RDR online of our life. First to three points. Three points. Is three that... points? Oh, that's easy. You got the still boss. <laughs> I ran into my arch enemy, King Juice. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I don't. Yeah! Still MVP! <laughs> Let's go! Alright. Two more. Two more. Two more. Come on, one more. You got this, Joe Boss. You got this. One more. Come on. I'm scared. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> that was Woo! intense. That Man. Was fucking crazy. Yes! Go Let's go! Woo! Let's go. One more. Fucking one more. Oh my god. What have we done? I'm gonna run straight into him. That's the only chance we have. Fuck you, libido. Where? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, he has like a horse hacks on or something. Who just fucking flipped everything? That was me and libido still <laughs> lived. There's no way. How? I figured out why I have so many posses now. I keep freaking forming new ones and spending $200. <laughs> <laughs> The Easy. real deal, baby! Let's go! The real deal! No more it's multiplayer! Over. After hopping back into the story, there's one more stranger mission I need to finish. And this is for the trophy Artificial Intelligence. Then I progress to the story, finishing up chapter 4 and 5. Get down! <laughs> On your knees! No! no! Hosea! <laughs> Are you kidding me? They fucking killed Hosea, man. You're going down! Ow! Fuck! Move! Go over! Oh my god. Let's go! Oh shit. 
Ah! Lenny! No! Are you serious? Chapter 5, Guarma. Oh, hot damn. Wash the shore. Miss <laughs> Grimshaw. Damn. <laughs> you are kind of crazy. I did not know Miss Grimshaw was going to double barrel her. And just like that into chapter six. <laughs> no traitors and a gold. Let's fucking go. Oh, I'm so good. Then I get a trophy for spending $5,000 across all shops. This next one had a lot leading up to it. It was to obtain maximum honor level. And holy shit, the way I did it was crazy. God damn. Dude, what do you have after you? Who are these people? I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. Yeah. True, Shay. Damn, Leopold, you're an asshole. Oh, man. I'm about to... Oh, I, I'm going to confront him? Oh, oh sweet revenge, dude. Yeah! Arthur! Done a long time ago. Facts. Go. Get the hell out! Get out! You doing? Get out! Go and get a job. See how nobody, like, cares? Because they all hate Leopold. Extreme personality! <laughs> Let's fucking go! After that, I complete the mission, Goodbye Dear Friend. And then I finish up all optional honor story missions. Progressing a little farther, I get enough recipes to craft 30 unique items in story mode, earning the trophy self-sufficient. And with just a couple missions left, we near the end of the game. And I'm not gonna lie, man, it tugged on my heartstrings. The GOATS! They are the goats! Woohoo! Let's go! Ride with me, boys! Oh, damn! What the fuck did I slip on? Get up! What are you doing? Mrs. Abigail? Hello? Oh. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. Milton! Oh, shit! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! Oh, my God! Dude! Holy shit. <laughs> Suck it, Milton. Yeah, and then, oh, of course he gets all sweet with Dutch. You know, don't betray the family, Black Lung. Like, dude, shut the fuck up. Be quiet. Yeah, Miss Grimshaw. Put down your gun. Yeah. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> no, what? I cannot hit a shot to save my life. My horse, Wrinkle. No! Ringo! No! No! Oh, no! It would mean a lot to me. No! No! Please! God Get damn it, Arthur! Get out of here! Be a goddamn man! Arthur, you son of a bitch! Kill him, Arthur! Kill him! Oh, not yourself! Damn, that must have hurt. You're an asshole. Everything you've done ever since you joined, shit has gone wrong. Starting, ow, ow, starting for the Blackwater job, all the way to Saint, Saint Denis, man. You bastard, Micah. I'm gonna take you with me. Will you just, you are, t oh, you got this, Arthur. Just kill him. No! It is over. That's Dutch. Oh, you son of a bitch. You won my heart, man, from the very beginning. And now it's gonna end like this. Oh, man. Oh, not the song. Oh. Oh, man. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Why? Why? Why couldn't you have lived? Arthur, no, <laughs> no way. Some years later, dude, that I'm not. Close. Oh close. my god, man, I'm not ready. Hold on, you cannot just roller coaster me into this next part. 
And now it's time for the epilogue. We have a lot to do in post game. Step one is to complete the epilogue. Step two is to earn 70 gold medals during missions. Step three, finish all collectible related trophies. Step four, the miscellaneous stupid shit. Step five, getting 100% completion. And the last step, skin and study every single animal. So uh, guys, I've, I've been lying to you. Step one and two need to be flipped. Throughout playing the story, I would replay the mission instantly if I did not get a gold medal. No way. <laughs> Man, I was so fast. I hate timed missions, dude. But for the most part, 90% of the missions I finished were gold. So before I knew it, one of the easiest missions in the game I got a gold on, and that was my final one. Gold Rush! Let's go! No more gold missions. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> and before I even finish the game fully. And now it's time for the best trophy in this entire game. Saw in a board and I'll cut it. Climb a ladder with a hammer and a nail. I'll nail it. Yeah. <laughs> John, you're, you're, you're awesome. Cowboy builder, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Then it's over. We have reached the finale of the finale. Epilogue part two is over. We face Dutch and Micah one last time. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Wait, that's, ex that is Arthur's hat. Wait, am I wearing Arthur's hat? <laughs> Wait, this is amazing. Do I just gotta like sit here or something? Oh, I do. Okay. Sadie! Damn. 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 Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. Oh man. Endless summer, dude. Let's go. We now move to step three, and the first trophy we get towards this is to find all of the graves of our fallen companions. There's nine of them that span across the whole map, and once we inspect the final grave, we get our trophy. This next one has us knocking out a portion of the 100% completion as well. It's to finish every single hunter request. You can find this piece of paper on a wall inside of a train station, and it lists a bunch of animals that this hunter is requesting. Specifically, it'll ask for the three-star version of that animal, which like the first couple requests weren't too terrible, but it's never a smooth ride. I spent around eight or nine hours, give or take, hunting these animals. I could go on a 20 minute tangent of why this is the worst collectible in this entire game. But after you finish all the requests, you get to meet the person behind them. And this woman's a freak. Every single thing that we've hunted down, she stuffed them. And for our reward, she gives us our own squirrel version of us. And you would think that'd be the end of it, but it's not. Now we must go back to Beecher's Hope and put it on the fireplace. And then we have to wait a full in-game day. So what I would do is I would go out of Beecher's Hope, put a campfire down, fast travel to Blackwater, sleep in the saloon there, and then ride back to Beecher's Hope. The squirrel changes spots because Abigail moves it and tries to hide it. So we find that spot, put it back on the fireplace, and we had to do that five more times. It was very monotonous and boring. So when I went to the saloon for like the third or fourth time, I tried my hand at Blackjack. And that was the final game I needed for the trophy Hobby Horse, and of course I lost the game. So now for the final position, it's actually actually going to be at a mountain. So we have to climb all the way up to this mountain and grab the squirrel and then we finally get our trophy. And I just wish this was it for the collectibles, but god damn it, it's not. And it's time to fish, baby. The trophy connected to this though isn't about collectibles. We have to catch a 16 pound fish, which is extremely easy when you're doing the collectibles for every single legendary fish. So I got that no problem. So here's where we get into step four and five-ish. Similar to ambient challenges from the first game, there's nine that you have to do. They all vary in difficulty like i'm pretty sure i got the super difficult ones out of the way first but for now i fully finished survivalist while i'm fishing just to give you an idea what it is that the final one i had to do was collect every species of fish which was oh man that was so goddamn boring next up we gotta get jumped by 18 bears Thankfully, I can get this done pretty easily. You want to set up camp right here and then sleep for as long as possible twice until you can't sleep anymore. Save your game, load it, 
sleep twice again, and then run up to this area, and you're guaranteed to run into a bear. Now the trick to surviving is always turn your back on the bear and run away, but not too fast so it can catch up to you and still, you know, tackle you and eat you. And then once you get the chance, spam circle to break free, make sure you got a shotgun on you, and then just kill it. And then run back to camp, sleep twice again, and then repeat the process 18 times. And then eventually, you'll get the trophy. Here's where I start to knock out every single challenge I need, varying from gambling, to hunting to killing just normal folk i knocked it all out but after getting 80 out of the 90 challenges done i needed one more and that was the bandit challenges i saved that one for last because it tanks honor a lot and there's two trophies i wanted to tie to it survive three days holding a bounty of 250 dollars in all states and rob or loot 250 dollars super self-explanatory and i got that easily while also knocking out my final challenge after all of that is done i can go to the trapper now and buy the reinforced equipment which upgrades my health which fits the last re requirement needed for 100% completion uh, did I oh my god oh there we go dude I thought I forgot something <laughs> I'm not gonna lie <laughs> let's fucking go oh okay oh my god no no Arthur that's Arthur's grave yes we're just about done my friend Man. Now we move on to the final two trophies needed for this platinum. Studying every animal and skinning every animal. Now the skinning one is a little bit misleading because you don't actually need to skin every single animal because not every single animal can be skinned. So that knocks out about half the animals. But we still have to study all of them excluding the ones in Guarma. For these two trophies in particular, you had to have a lot of patience. I cannot tell you how many guides I watched where they said an animal would be here and it wasn't after like 30 attempts of sleeping. Some areas just don't play work and for the most part i didn't have a problem with finding a lot of the animals except the fucking mooses i spent about a day and a half just looking for those two i found both mooses in the same exact location just at completely different times so i'll show you guys the location because it worked wonders for me but but other than that man you're on your own but after finding the two mooses i mean we were set i kept knocking it out one by one until eventually i made it to the last animal that i needed to study and skin thus completing my journey of both red Red Dead Redemptions. The pheasant. I gotta, not the Chinese ring necked pheasant. I need to find just the normal ringed neck pheasant. But I can't find them. Like anywhere. And it's supposed to be not even that rare. It's supposed to be just like uncommon. <gasps> oh! oh my god! It's there. It's there. I don't know where it is, but it's there. I've got to find it so this douchebag behind me doesn't chase it away. Okay. I need to study it. I'm going to get a trophy, and i got to skin it to get the final trophy for the platinum. Oh, my God. You guys don't understand how long I was searching for this bird, and now it's just here. This is this is the Red Dead Gods finally patting me on the back, kicking me out. They're zoologist. Okay. Where is it? I don't see it. Okay. Uh, 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 um, just going to use a, a varmint rifle. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh, oh my God. Is it over? Oh, this better be the last the last animal I need. This better be the last goddamn animal. Yes! Dude, let's go! Holy shit! Legend of the West! Oh my god. I spent an ungodly amount of time in this game, dude. Too much! Way too much. And just like that, it's over. If you're curious, it took me around 290 hours total with Red Dead 1 and 2, but it's only an estimate because I can't tell how much time I've played on the PS3 version of Red Dead. But other than that, if you guys got a game you want me to platinum, then comment that down below. I will always check it out. But guys, I'm, I'm gone. I'm out of here.